Muy buenas noches, espero que estén muy bien. Les pido disculpas por empezar unos minutos más tarde. Estamos, tuvimos un problema técnico, pero eh, ya no tenemos ningún problema para comenzar con eh, nuestro, eh, nuestra jornada del día de hoy. Queremos eh, agradecer la paciencia de todos ustedes y eh, les recordamos que este webinar está siendo eh, transmitido en cuatro idiomas, chino, español, portugués e eh, inglés. Pueden seleccionar aquí en la parte inferior de su pantalla eh, el idioma que desee. Hoy, como siempre, eh, tenemos al profesor Meng De Hong que nos va a traer otra interesante eh, tema eh, y eh, desde la Fundación CLEC, Oficina Regional para América Latina y el Caribe, le damos la bienvenida a todos ustedes y al profesor Meng Lavashen. It's about the flowers and the blossom. we continue to talk about the clothes uh, in China. 那么我们上一次呢, 曾经说过, uh, a person wearing the clothes we called the Ren. Ren is a person. Ren, like this, is a da. Da is big. So Ren, in, the, in his waist, have one clothes in his waist. That's the first clothes for human beings. So you can see this character is Oracle. That means the person, Ren. And uh, who is he? He is the China's ancestor. His name is Huang Emperor. For Chinese people, we are the descendants of Yang Huang Emperor. These two persons for Chinese people is very important because <coughs> Yan and uh, Huang Emperor because Yan lead the Chinese people to use the fire. Fire is, a, uh, import, is an important symbol of a people's culture. Huang is lead the Chinese people to wear the clothes, the society. So this uh, era is uh, a, also a very important uh, cultural era. It's a new civilization. So you can see this type of clothes, it's very important because this type of clothes for Chinese people, for human beings, you use this clothes and you can feel the shame. Because of the clothes, you know the feel about shame. So you can feel the shame, so you need to wear the clothes. The day before yesterday, why Huang Emperor can wear the clothes? Why he's the first person can wear the clothes? Because the very important reason, because he has a good wife. His wife called Lei Zhu. It said that Lei Zhu is the first person to find the silkworm. The silkworm, the silk can be the, can made of the clothes. So Lei Zhu is, uh, is the ancestors of the weaving. So Lei Zhu found the silk worm can give the silk. We can use the silk to make the clothes. So this process, what's this process? In this, we can see, in, Cultivate uh, the silk and raise the silk is the process. Firstly, we need to uh, plant uh, many mulberry trees. This mulberry can provide uh, many mulberry leaves. The silkworm can eat. The important food for silkworm is the mulberry leaves. So you can see this process for 
Today's China, we all we still do this like this. Anhui is a important province for silkworm and weaving. So you can see uh, this all these people is uh, raising the silkworm. So you can see in the picture, this is the silkworm. It's it was eating the mulberry leaves. In the later. With the development of the society, people can use the mulberry leaves. They can pick the mulberry leaves in the house. They can raise the silkworm indoors. But you can see in the nature, the silkworm's longevity is very short because various animals can eat. It is a silkworm. So in the later, we invent and we create a new ideas to raise to rear the silkworm indoors. So you can see indoors, all the silkworms can live in this in in this box, and they pick the mulberry leaves indoors. So all the silkworm. Can grow up indoors, so they don't fear about other animals. They eat the mulberry leaves. You can see this picture. All the silkworm eat the mulberry leaves. You can see the black black point. Ah, it's their sheet. <laughs> so you can see all this. It's to offer. So how to deal with all the sheets? Because all the silkworms they eat healthy green mulberry leaves. So their sheets, in fact, it's a good thing. Chinese people use all this sheet to make the pillow. The pillow. Below inside, we use the silkworm sheets. So, it is said that it's very, it's very healthy and good for people's for people. So, for the silkworm, it's all the treasures for itself. So, Chinese people is recycled and healthy. So. In ancient time, Chinese lifestyle is very healthy and recycled. So for the baby, for the baby silkworm, when they are full, they will give the silk. They slow to give the silk. It's a bunch of the silk, and this silk will surrounded by the silkworm. We. It uh, will form into a cocoon. It's surrounded, surrounded uh, itself, and to formed into a cocoon. So it will change into a new life. It will change a new insect. In China, we have one idiom we call the "hua jian wei die." When the silkworm surrounded by the self, in, inside they will change into a butterfly. It will change into a butterfly. So we call it a. In Chinese, we have one idiom we call the "zuo jian zi fu." Jian is the silk of the silkworm. It it become a new thing. This robes 
to round it itself to become a cocoon. It has a new house for itself. So you can see all the silk. This house, we called it a cocoon. This cocoon is a It's the very important material to get the silk. So you can see we use all the cocoons in the boiled water to cook because the silk from the cocoon, in fact, have many other ingredients in it. Actually, it's a very hard thing. If we whip it, we need to use all the hard cocoon change into a soft and good silk. So first thing, we use the boiled water to boil it, to make it soft. So when, when it becomes soft, we will go into another procedure. This is a wave. We use all the cocoons already boiled and use the tools to deal with it. So all the silk, this process is opposite. We use the shell of the cocoon, we catch it into the slice. We change into a piece of the silk. It's the process. This process in China, it happened a long time ago. Long time ago, Chinese people already learned how to weave. You can see many arts in ancient pictures, they noted this process of weaving. So Chinese people, the process of weaving, the, the process of the cocoon in Han Dynasty from the Silk Road, from the Silk Road to the Europe. So in Europe pictures, uh, you can see the European how to wave. This, this method is started from China. So the most important road we call the Silk Road. This road is exchanging a lot of products, but why? We doesn't call it a watermelon road. Why we don't call it a computer road? Why we call it a silk road? Because silk in this road is the most important products for business. Because European and Western people prefer the silk. So this road, we call it a silk road. So we use the silk, how to make it to close. This process is a complicated process. So firstly, we, the thing is the, the silk, we call the yaw. It's easily to broke easily to break. Yao is the, the littlest, the most little rope. The rope actually is a concrete meaning. So in Chinese characters, it's two meanings combined. So this with the development of the character, concrete meaning 
disappear and abstract meaning disappeared. And for the abstract meaning is emphasized and left. So this yaw is the latest. It's disappeared and the So, we, we call it the youngest for people, we also we call it y'all. For the youngest children in your, in your family, we call it y'all. For girl, we call it y'all mei. In Sichuan dialect, y'all mei is the youngest girl in your family. So, y'all. For the silk, the, so when you come to China, when you listen, when you heard the yao is, it refers to the little kid, the baby. This is the characters changing. If you use the hands, If the rope is uh, bigger than the smallest, uh, we call the me. This me is uh, longer than the yao. If you use your hand to twist, to twist into a long, this action we call the ji. When we twist, uh, this is uh, a longer rope we call the ji. So if, if you teach Chinese, you should know about cheng ji. Cheng ji is a grade. Ji for the primitive meaning is the smallest rope because ji when we produce the when we produce the clothes, is the first progress from producing clothes from the silk to this to rope. This process is a sim, symbolic process. So we use cheng ji. Is the important result for the first process to producing the for producing clothes. So cheng ji in Chinese. In today's Chinese, cheng ji is a score, is great. It's from the process of making of producing clothes. See, when it become longer and longer, it become into xian. Xian. Duan. Also from this. Xian because uh, it's a very thin. When we use it to make to make clothes, we use all the qi, change into Several you the rope we call the wave. Waving is a important process. This picture is a, the woman is a waving in the left machine. It's long. We put all the thinnest. And smallest uh, row rope change into one type of wire into the xian rope. We use the left machine. So, if you have interest uh, into this rope. 
when you break it, uh, maybe inside uh, has uh, two or three and uh, more the smallest uh, rope. You can have a try. In the primitive society, we don't have this machine. In, before this, before we had this machine, so how to make the rope? There is a very important tool. They were hanging different, uh, the smallest rope, and they use their hands to catch it. Yeah, this action we call the gong. Gong in China, so we twist gong. Gong is a very important because it's the it's the resource of all the rope. Because now we call it a gong. Because gun in now we call it outline. So this is the process of weaving. So of this weaving machine in later when the development is the high level weaving machine. This picture is another dynasty the weaving machine. In the Yuan and Ming Dynasty, this is a spinning wheel. They use all this thing, uh, the rope, into the long rope. They use the fire to boil the, the cocoon. So this process, when we produce uh, the, this rope, we will use this rope to wave wave. So how to wave wave? This is the ancientest, uh, most ancient process. We will use this spinning wheel. This spinning wheel have up and down. This wooden, this wood, Wooden part we called it. Uh, so what's uh, what is this name? This is a uh, called Ji. Uh, Ji is a machine. This character in today's Chinese we called it a machine. Machine in China is uh, from this uh, spinning wheel. So this spinning wheel is made of wood. So Ji have the Mu radical. Mu in Chinese is wood, wood or tree. So you can see for Chinese people, the ancient machine is made of wood. So machine have the Radical. So this uh, spinning wheel. So in up, why we have this? Uh, because uh, it must uh, have many rope. Rope. This. This stand up. Stand upright the rope. So, in your in her hand, we call the ji chu. All this rope, you can see it very clearly. All the rope is one, one by one. One, three, five, seven, nine, two, four, six, eight. It's a one series. One, three, five, seven, nine is one series. Two, four, six, eight, uh, ten is another series. Uh, 
we call the time flies. So every day, like the weaving skills, like the weaving. So when you use this shuttle into the different different series rope, we made it into different. So one series and another series into different di direction and use the shuttle into the different use different direction and it's endless to wave you can make it into claws now you will see the claws so claws is a made of different uh, one by one the different ropes uh, together use the shuttle to make it so ma making claws uh, is uh, very difficult uh, and it, it takes uh, much time in the ancient times uh, the claws uh, can be as the money in the primitive society the clothes become the money, becomes the currency. So, for example, this B, B is a currency. You can say the one radical is a ship part from from Jin, Jin is a cause. So in the primitive society, the money is another types of cloth. We use the cloth to buy something. We use the products to exchange other products. So now you can see the most uh, important, uh, important basis for weaving. So we use the smallest rope, we call the yao. So yao, it means a small. It's uh, not long, very short, and thin, small. If we make it uh, into a series uh, rope, it's called a me. Me is a thin silk. This is a thin silk. Me is a very important radical. We call the jiao si pang. Jiao si pang is a, a series rope. Have this radical is related with the rope and the cloth. If we use it, uh, when we twist it into a more delicate rope, we call the si. When we weave it, when we when we weave it, use the shuttle into the machine is also a very important radical. This radical we call the zhuan. In the letter, we write like this. This in the up is a three rope. In under this is a, like a shuttle. The right on the right is a one hand. Use your hand to catch the shuttle. Make the di make the different rope into one. So in oracle, we write like this. In oracle, it appeared this character. So Chinese people use silk to make the rope. It's a very long. At least 3,000 years ago, Chinese people can use the shuttle to make the cloth. Make, yeah, make the silk to make the cloth. The cloth is very delicate. 
and we call the silk. So other silk, this quality is different for Chinese. We call it the most, the best cloth we call, we call it it's Ling Luo Chou Duan. If we call it Ling Luo Chou Duan, it's the best quality silk. Best quality Ling Luo Chou Duan is the precious, most precious and the best quality. These four characters have any differences? What's the difference of these four characters? When the four characters together, it refers to the most precious cause. Ling refers to the raw silk. Raw silk. Raw silk is not to be produced. Ling is raw silk. This quality is the worst, worst silk for in the qualities of the silk. So Lin raw silk is not to be produced. It doesn't have the process to boil it. So Lin is the worst quality, but it's type of the quality silk. Luo it's already produced. Use the water boiled. Use the boiled water to produce it. This uh, boiled silk. One is the very very thin. We call the the thick. For the thick silk, have two. One. One is very sparse, and another is very thick. Chou is a very sparse silk. Duan is the thick silk. In Chinese, it's 160. The one is very thick. It's a, the best. And also, we will see it beautiful pictures in it. This type of uh, silk is the most precious for Chinese people. When, when they celebrate the wedding, there is the most important uh, quilt for Chinese people. Use this duan to make it. It's very, it's very expensive. In, inside is a cotton, but outside is a silk, silk. Many professors, if, if you've ever been to China, in China, the most important festival, spring festival, Chinese people like to wear the new clothes. Generally, girls like the clothes in this silk, and the men also like it. And the men's color is dark. We call the Tang Zhuang Tang clothes. We use this thick silk to make it. It's a very precious clothes. So Lin Luo Chou Duan is a different. It's just one material for Chinese people to make the clothes. We call the si, si silk. From the animal to get this material. So do we have the material from the plants? So you can see the picture. In Latin America, in many countries, in some region, there is still have this tradition. They use the trace skin, they catch it the trace skin to make one clothes. So in Latin America, do you find 
use the bark, use the bark to make the clothes. This is use the cheese bark to make it. In Latin America, do you have this tradition or custom? Do you have ever seen? Do you ever do you have ever seen it? Use the tree spark to make the clothes. If you have this tradition, you can text the one in the chat room. Yeah. So Laura said, yeah, she she found the tradition. So anyone else also have this? Tradition use the bark to make the clothes. So many teachers said they have this tradition. So you can see, for for human beings, it's the same. I think all the people, many aspects are same. Everyone around the world have this tradition to use the bark to make clothes. In today's China, we have a minor, minor ethnic. It's one located in Heilongjiang province. They also use the bark to make clothes. But uh, use the bark to make the clothes. When you wear it, it's very uncomfortable. It's very uncomfortable. So how to deal with it? So this is in Bible noted. Use the leaves to make the clothes in Bible. They eat the wisdom, wisdom fruit. They have the shameful feeling. They use the fake leaves to make the clothes. They use the plants to make the clothes. But because of this type of clothes, when wear it is very uncomfortable. So Chinese people found use the bark. They don't make the clothes. Firstly, they catch the the bark from the tree. We call the xi. Xi is the earliest bark. It's one type of tree. They use the Bark to make to wave to make clothes. It's a most convenient. This type of tree we call the xi. And when we catch it, this action we call the ping. Ping is peeled from the tree, and when they peel it, they lay all the tree into the water. And to produce this action, we call the ma 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 fan trouble. Why this ma change into ma fan? Because when we make all the bark into the water, when you see it, you found it's very dirty water. Actually, it's all the for Chinese people, we think it's very troublesome. So it's the origin of the troubles. It's the fabric of the trees, so it's troublesome. So from this, we catch all the fabric. We will twist it into the rope. It change into the ji ji. When we make it, we call the G, and uh, make make it the rope into the boiled water. We call the T. When we make it into the sunshine, we call the Lian, Jian, and the Lian becomes the words, Jian, and the Lian use the boiled fabric, pick up the all the boiled fabric. We can choose it. It's for yourself. Choose the better fabric. Not all the fabric we can use it. You use the better fabric. 
So Jian, this means you can choose one from the fabric. So you can say one word we call the Qing Jian. Qing Jian is invitation envelope. So you can be invited. It's a as choose you from so many people. So the invitation, invitation is the invite you from various and plenty of friends. Jian is from this. It's a so many fabric. After produce it, you choose the better fabric. This is GM. So what is Lian? Lian also. Lian, when you choose it to produce and to tend, when tend, there is any bad things we do, we, we take away to Lian Xi. In the later, Lian Xi, Lian is a practice. So Lian Xi, this is Lian is the origin from this. So Lian means choose the better fabric. So use the shuttle to produce. So the process, the production, you can get this rope. You can see the old piece, you, you can see the old woman. It's the same place. She doesn't have any tools to weave. They twist it into the rope. This rope inside the quantity is much. So, you, you will use this machine to produce. This is uh, from up to down. Yeah, use the different different series uh, and uh, use the shuttle. This in her hand we call the shuttle. Use the shuttle to make the cloth. When you use the shuttle into the different direction, yeah, you can get the cloth. All of this is rope. And because they use the shuttle, it changes into and it becomes a cloth. From this, you must know one type of the characters. From up to down, we call the Jing Xian. Jing from this. Jing. This machine. Up. This curve we call the silk. So we can see this character actually is this action. Is to describe this picture. This character is to describe the process of Chinese people to wave. So you can see this type, this rope is very thin and long. So these characters for the sound shape as a radical, as a sound radical, this term, this provide a meaning. It means thin and long. It means thin and long. So you can see this, all of these words. This Qing, this it's the waves, the thin waves. It will leave a trace, a very thin and long. This Qing is a stem. It's the stem of grass. So for grass, very thin and uh, long part uh, we call the stem. This 
Jin is called work. This this word uh, means a uh, pass for sing and a long road. It's pass pass. So all the Chinese people know one poem. Jing is a thin and a long path. So, the, so in your body, which part is very thin and long? For your body, what where is a thin and a long? You can answer it in the chat room for your body. Which part, which part is very thin and long for your body? For your body, for the thin and the long part has the same. First uh, is your neck. Your neck is thin and long. So neck is thin. So for your thin neck, also is thin. Another radical is tan. The left radical is thin and long. For the jing, jing refers to the neck. In under is uh, your waist. This jing is a shin. We also use this sound radical. It refers to it's two parts of your body. One is your neck, one is your shin. It's a thin and long. So in Chinese, when we create the characters, we use this sound radical. It uh, tells us the thin and long part. For Chinese people, we use uh, these plant things to make the silk, to make the hemp, to make the use all the things to weave and to make clothes. When they make clothes, what types of clothes they make? It's uh, make the clothes like this. It's the ch Asian Chinese wear this. It's the soldiers' clothes. This type of clothes, this long clothes, we call the clothes. Inside, it's called underwear. So, this part we call the clothes. It's under we call the shang, like a, like skirt. So e and the shang together we call the e shang. E shang is close. It's the general name of close. For Chinese, Japanese, Vietnam, Korean, for East Asia, many countries influenced by the China. It's all the clothes. It's Yi Shang. All the materials exported to the Europe for the European woman. Yeah, it's two parts combined. In the up, in the upper is e. In the under part is shang. So Chinese use this method to make the clothes. We use this material to make is the chi China's style clothes. It looks very beautiful. So for men's clothes and women's clothes, it's very different. So you can see this is a man and a woman's clothes. 
It's very different. So when you're waving, when you make the clothes for Chinese to become various characters. For example, Jie Shu is a finish. It's related with wear the clothes. For example, Lin Xiu Li is the collar. Xiu is your sleeve. It's a very important part of the clothes. So Lin Xiu combined we have a new meaning. It means leader. Lin is a collar. Xiu is a sleeve. It's a very important part of your clothes. So very important part for people, so we call the Lin Xiu. Lin Xiu is a leader. It's very common for Chinese so because of the time limited. So today's introduction is end. So see you tomorrow. Thank you so much. Muchísimas gracias, la Shi. Fei Shang Gan Xian. Thank you. Muy, muy interesante su presentación de, de hoy. Y nos vemos mañana. Min Tian Tian. See you tomorrow. Vamos entonces ahora a pedirle a la profesora Chang y Fan que nos presente a nuestra siguiente expositora del día de hoy. Eh, Chang Lao Shi. Sí, sí, sí. Muchas gracias. En primer lugar, muchas gracias por la presentación de profesor Meng. Thank you so much for his introduction of Professor Meng. So now I will introduce the Professor Qing Hui of the Fragrant Cloud Young. She is currently the Dean of the School of Art, South China Agriculture University, a third level professor and a master tutor. China's top 10 fashion designers, ambassador of Chinese textile, intangible cultural heritage. She is also a member of the Fashion Art Committee of the China Fashion Designers Association, a director of the Asian Fashion Federation in China, and is a vice chairman of the Guangdong Fashion Designers Association, director of Guangdong Apparel Innovation Design Engineering Technology R&D Center, with, the pro, with it, her profound cultural heritage and a unique understanding of Chinese national costume culture. Now, I will share the fragrant cloud yarn. I will divide into three parts. First one is the cultural connotation the words only in Chinese fabric around the world. Fragrant, fragrant cloud yarn is a silk fabric that is unique to China with pure natural vegetable dyes and river mud dyes. It's originated in the Yongle period of Ming Dynasty and reached its peak in the 1920s. Due to the historical reasons and impact of industrialization. It fell into the bottom during the Cultural Revolution and gradually re recovered in 2003. In 2008, it was included in the National Intangible Cultural Heritage List. The unique geographical location and the climatic condition of Guangdong Pro River Delta make it impossible to replicate in other regions, for example, Jiangsu, Zhejiang, Japan, Europe, and the United States and other regions. Uh, it has a long history. It's basic from the Linnan culture across the history. It's a soft cloth. And its color very dark. And also it's a handcraft and it's a proud for Guangdong people in Han Dynasty, in, in, her, in the river, we raise the wish, which is the fish, and plant the mulberry. So 
for Guangdong people, they make so in Tang Dynasty, the people from all around the world went to Guangzhou. So, so it's a re representative of Guangzhou to make the Yang in Ming Dynasty. It's a form the uh, there is the chain of industry. People start to use the they use the taro to make it. They use the taro to dye into the silk. So, so this qibu is a, a very, this is a, the fragrant cloud yarn. It's the same as other traditional skills. Because of the location, because of the temperature and the soil, it's a, so for the fragrant cloud yarn, in other places you cannot find it. So it's require different conditions. For the South China people, we call the Lingnan region. We use other, we use other pictures into this weaving and to become the fragrant cloud yarn. These skills is a very, it is similar to like the luo, luo is the sparse silk and it's more beautiful and it becomes the sea silk road a symbol. So at the same time, it's also a superb and superb the skills for the Lingnan region weaving. We use the taro to dye and to boil and use the different skills to make it. It become a very unique and smooth and glorious the fragrant cloud yam into the 90s and 20s. It's come to the peak of the fragrant cloud yam, and for the literati, for, for the celebrities, they think this think is a very luxury luxury things. For example, so many celebrities they like the fragrant cloud yam. There is a one poem we call it. But uh, in ant Japan, the world with the block of the export and uh, indoors, uh, Guangzhou invaded by the Japan. So many company stopped and for the factory stopped. So the golden era for the fragrant cloud yarn is stopped. So for the mechanic, for the mechanic industry and other things for the chemistry fabric replaced the, the natural silk. So fragrant cloud yarn is disappeared. After the revolution with the development of the economy, people pay more attention and to the traditional culture and to dig this uh, pre Position of the traditional no, fragrant cloud yarn received the, the attention from the people. 
So from to the 2008, it's listed in the national non heritage it's national heritage list. So recently, various people to protect this fragrant cloud young. So I will introduce the fragrant cloud production process. It's a very complicated. So firstly, it's uh, making the water and the dyeing, drying, mudding, washing, drying, finishing, and the packaging finish the products. After a series of special processes, the original texture of silk has been changed. It has become more rigid and crisp. In terms of color, one side is special coating of jet black and oily, and the other side is brown, green, purple, red, and other colors. The raw material of the fragrant cloud yarn, printing and dyeing is a Chinese herbal medicine, which has the functions of cooling, medium proof, sterilizing and repelling insects, hair care and skin care. It wears a fragrant cloud yarn is very good for their health and their skin. It has the function of skin care. The production process of fragrant cloud yarn is very complicated. It's described in the classic as three washings, nine streaming, and 18 driving for the soft good in textile fabrics. It's for the drying and uh, falling for 18 days. The most superb of fragrant cloud tire, you, sh you show the drying and the boiling for 30 or 40 times. And the next, you must to use the mud to cover it and to wash it. Okay, now let's look at the video to introduce the process to dry it and boil it. Yes. 
丝绸之基地，像玉沙早期的产地是顺德、南海和番禺一带。顺德中部的伦教镇，土地平坦肥沃，河网密布，是当时生产香玉沙的集中地。上世纪三十年代，香玉沙发展到巅峰，珠江三角洲呈现两沙生产、清新向荣的局面。随着岁月的流逝，香云沙几经起落，几乎失传。近几年来，华南农业大学艺术学院团队将香云沙与现代时尚相结合，形成了别具的香云沙文化。它这边的闪影，因为另外一段是不是这样？啊，这香玉纱工艺也是这。这是香玉纱的制造工艺，从呃织丝开始到。This is a process to make the fragrant cloud yarn.
是阳处的天然纤维，在冬天的阳光下变脆，因此要抓住这样的好时机开展工作。干燥后的皮绸已经变得硬挺，质地好像牛皮纸一样，折叠动作要控制力大，既要防止打死折，也不能在折皱处将丝绸纤维折断。收布其实就是卷绸，这道工序颇具艺术色彩。收好的披绸就如手风琴的古箱一般。晒场上，十几个人相互协作，他们这群创造者在重复与单调中寻找着秩序和自由。经过近三十次的浸染与数天的曝晒后，绸缎已充分的积蓄了数两页。晒干后的皮绸就可以进行下一道工序。You can see the process of the frag and cloud yin. It's, it's a very complicated. It will use a half year to make one the cloth of the frag and cloud. So now, at least, it will take two months to make the frag and cloud yarn. So it's very long and complicated. Just now, it's a very complicated process, and have so many good functions of. Actually, it has also have other difficult difficulties. So. The production process of a fragrant cloud yarn is complicated, and the cycle is long, and the cost is high. The ordinary people cannot afford as a high price. The color of of it uh, is single gel, and the dye effect is not good, which limits its application in clothing. The dark color makes its uh, consumer groups limited to the middle aged, and the elderly rather than the young consumer group with Greater market potential for the young people. They maybe they don't like the fragrant cloud yarn. Also, it's a very high price. So for this clothes, it's for the middle aged and elderly person. So to for to deal with these、uh, things. The, 
In implementing the strategy of rural revitalization, digging deep into the excellent ideas. So Chinese China's traditional culture. So for spreading the fragrant cloud young, this unique clause to pro increase our confidence of the Chinese people. So we choose the representative of fragrant cloud young to research. So protect and inherit fragrant young through the research unique the world. We established the research team use the art types to show the confidence. In two thousand in twenty fifteen, we use the, the Nansha region and. Uh, the in 2016, we we signed a cooperation framework agree, agreement with the Langhe Town, Nansha District, Guangzhou City, and the Nansha Yang Yangwan Xinhai Art Base to form a research and development team for Fragrant Clouds Yang. Another is to protect. So, for the innovation strategy, the research team attaches great importance to the design concept, intangible culture, heritage, plus fashion, so that the latest fashion elements and the intangible cultural heritage, fragrant cloud yam fabrics co collide to create a fashionable visual effect. So we use the popular color, the popular style into the fragrant yarn, found yarn. The second, adopting the design concept of intangible cultural heritage plus intangible cultural heritage we have created a series of uh, customs such as fragrant uh, cloud yarn, applied the tidy embroidery, fragrant, uh, fragrant cloud yarn plus miao embroidery and uh, bartik, fragrant cloud yarn plus the guang embroidery, emphasizing the contemporary, the spirit, the craft. Craftsmanship gives intangible cultural heritage, closing a new concept of modern urban life. Use the design concept of intangible cultural heritage plus culture to excavate cultural connotations, sort out cultural characteristics, inherit cultural essence, and active activate cultural forms. Finally, using the design concept of intangible cultural heritage plus technology and the intangible cultural heritage plus games and creating an unprecedented new type of fragrant young cloud young. This is the casual, casual design with the fragrant cloud young to become a new in the left. This is uh, the fragrant clown yarn combined with the jeans together. So we use these two things combined uh, to become a, a new style. We find uh, some factory farmers uh, wear these clothes. It's the very same. Uh, the Jeans. They wear so long time. They boiled 
in the water, you can get these types of the color like this. It looks like jeans. So it's like uh, on purpose to wash it uh, to become uh, light. It will cut into a thick and a dark clothes. We use the skill of washing to wash it and it will become a very unique jeans. So this is the same as the fragrant clown yarn. So this time it's like the jeans. We make it very light, lightning, and we can wear it and it will become the different color and the shadow of the jeans. With, with the several times uh, tanned, uh, it become a uh, new times the shoes. This is another types. We use the meal embro embroidery together, uh, combined with the fragrant cloud and yarn to together. It has a traditional style with the modern style. In the middle is from the Qing Dynasty clothes. In the skirts, we use the meal, the tattoos. It's the clothes of, of the Miao people in Qing Dynasty. In the, in the right, uh, we use the Guizhou province, use the Miao embroidery together to become a, a new style. This is a uh, from the from the production of fragrant cloud yarn plus the fashion, we use the very popular color yellow with the fragrant cloud yarn together to become very sunshine and very fresh sight. So we can compare with it. We use some golden embroidery together. We use some different uh, flowers uh, and all the elements uh, into the fragrant yarn, fragrant cloud yarn clothes. It make it uh, more fashionable and uh, traditional. This type is a topic is a river. It looks like the waves of the river. We use the silk and the fragrant cloud yarn together to make feel this uh, it's like the waves of the river. So we all use other elements, the fruit, uh, for example, pineapple, lychee, and mango, all the fruits, all the elements to in this clothes. And this is a suit types. So it's for the leisure style, but now we can use it into the suit. So many literary, when we go, when we go other countries for meeting, for submit, they have a traditional suit. So in China, we, what types clothes we wear, so now, It's very hard to find a suitable clothes for the people. So when they found the fragrant cloud yarn, they will choose it. We designed into the suit. It has the China's elements. Also, it has the suit elements. So it combined. 
and the material is the Chinese unique. So it's a very superb. The middle and the right, uh, the picture is the suit of the ma male and the female. We use the Guizhou, we use the Guizhou province uh, for the meal embroidery, the elements uh, to design. The, des the design topic is uh, from cocoon to the butterfly. It's the reborn process. It's the spirit of the design. This is Zen. It represents the Chinese culture. For example, tea culture or the Zen culture. They like to wear the fragrant cloud yarn. When we design it, we also put the hand close into it. For example, the hand the design traditional design into the fragrant cloud yarn. In the waist and in the neck, we use different color. It has the new concept. This is the style from Han clothes. And outside, wear the underwear to wear in outside. This type, we use uh, the technology. We use the most uh, popular tattoos into the fragrant cloud yarn. We use the handcraft in it. It costs uh, plenty of time and uh, it's hard to produce it. We use in the cloth, it's a handcraft. So we use uh, use the digital tattoos, we can make it. This is the fragrant cloud yarn combined with, with the scientific and technology. It's designed by our university with the Hong Kong University to design it. Through the advanced technology, it can become a changing the lights. And it's don't, it doesn't have any common with any clothes. So for the Fragrant cloud yarn, it's uh, unlimited. Meanwhile, also we cooperated with the Wang Yi computer game for the world. This type is artificial. We want to use the traditional heritage into the use. For the youth, they want they like to play computer games. So we put the traditional heritage into the computer, and they can through the computer games to know the Chinese traditional fragrant cloud yarn. To make the use. More no know more about the Chinese traditional. Frag in the cloud yarn. This is the clothes of uh, made by the frag in the cloud yarn. So when the youth play the computer games, they can know the culture of this yarn. This is uh, in August, this year, August, uh, it's uh, one type of the computer games. We combined uh, the two things. We combined the ch traditional heritage with the computer games together. 
these types uh, is traditional. This type we we use the advanced elements in it to de design it. Except use the metal. Also, we use the chao embroidery and other skills to show the the artificial image of the computer games. Also, we have used the fragrant cloud. The research team made full use of the perspiration and breath ability properties of fragrant cloud yarn to develop healthcare underwear bedding, household products, and other products. Furthermore, the research team provides the scarves, head scarves, apron, belts, purses, and other series of clothing for those with skin allergies. This is the household series. This type is also the household series. It's very suitable for Guangdong province for the summer to use it. These elements use the butterfly. We also we use other household series. This type we use the process, which shows the process of making fragrant cloud yarn. When the process, the process, when we dye it, the red is also very beautiful color. And it's more fashionable than the dark color. So we created the red color fragrant cloud yarn. So the three pictures, you can find the different red. This is a different red color. It's not follow the totally follow the traditional things. We can design the new and the fashionable and have a new energy of this cultural heritage. So we also For example, some of the tradi traditional designs they very be against for this new design. But now with the development for the consumers, for the marketing, they are very before and support and like this new design, Fragrant Cloud Yarn. Meanwhile, we use the guan embroidery into this uh, household series. We use these elements into it. So we enlarge the scale of the fragrant cloud yarn. So we also use as a thesis and tea table so many types. It's a new try for the traditional heritage. It's the series for tea. We use green and a yellow color combined to make it. It's so fresh and the use and the use to very like it. This we use the traditional pictures combined with the fragrant cloud yarn together. So 
we also designed for the tines, neck tines. This, we try the new material for the clothes. And uh, we use the new color in this uh, cultural heritage. As we cooperate with other company, we designed the bright uh, color. For example, these boxes, uh, green, orange, blue, yellow, is a very popular color of this past of years. So we designed the new color into the cultural heritage. Meanwhile, we also cooperate with uh, some uh, painters uh, together to design the different topic into the clothes, the boxes, and the households. So we also use the black and cloud yarn to use its uh, functions uh, as a function of uh, the uh, rising and absorbing sweat. So we designed a new shoes using the traditional so in the um, embroidered uh, shoes in the picture above, a research turn integrated the modern shoe making technology on the basis of traditional Chinese embroidered shoes and making the uppers more rigid, smooth, and more comfortable to wear. This type of shoes, uh, we use some metal materials uh, combined with the fragrant cloud yarn together. It looks more fashionable. This uh, the left uh, types. Uh, for summer, we use the metal elements uh, combined uh, with the fragrant cloud yarn yeah, together and to make it the shoes. And the third uh, will tell the fragrant cloud yarn's history. With the support of the heavyweight projects such as National Art Fund touring exhibition, designed by the team have been exhibited 80 cities, including Beijing, Qingdao, Changsha, Lanzhou, etc., and appeared in high-level professional exhibitions such as the London Fashion Week, Macau Fashion Week, through the tourism exhibition, the traditional Chinese culture story of fragrant clown yarn has been spread to the major domestic and international cities, which has been highly concerned and praised by all the works of the life. The main contents tour, historical changes, mainly show the origin, rise, development, prosperity, decline, and uh, regeneration of fragrant cloud yarn in the form of words, pictures, videos, etc. Lifestyle, mainly in forms of the text, pictures, real objects, videos, etc. to display the application statues of fragrant cloud yarn in different historical periods and different classes. Nearly 100 different varieties of uh, fragrant cloud yarn fabrics are exhibited and the raw materials and the semi-finished products and the fabrics at different production stages are displayed in the form of real objects, such as eco cocoons, raw materials, intermediate products, and finished products, etc. We have a lot of try in its raw material and so also we display and introduce the ventilation, sterilization, insect replacement, health care and other 
properties of fragment cloud, yeah, throughout the text pictures, physical objects, etc. Fragment cloud, yeah, exhibition area, it's mainly displays more than 200 pieces of fragment cloud clothing in the series of business, then fashion and dresses. Meanwhile, we also have the virtual sim simulation and the field experience exhibition. Fragrant cloud yarn virtual simulation exhibition area, mainly with the help of 3D body scanner and the virtual simulation technology, allowing consumers to watch their new image in the virtual world wearing fashionable fragrance cloud yarn work. Works. Set up an on site experience area. Some fragrant cloud clothing for visitors can try on the spot so that more consumers can get close to contact experience and understanding of fragrant cloud clothing culture and addressing performance and cultivate the potential of consumer groups. With 3D body measurement, measure the consumer's body data through the 3D body scanner and adjust the body model data according to the measured body data. Also, it's design clothing styles according to consumer needs or select existing styles in the original database and then make or modify the version and finally generate a virtual clothing wearing clothes invite experts and scholars such as uh, fragrant cloud uh, culture research scholars, non-genic people, art design masters, and other experts uh, to participate in eight large-scale fragrant cloud uh, clothing culture seminars discussing its cultural heritage innovation design from the aspects of fragrant uh, cloud uh, yarn history craftsmanship, production design, etc. This is the Beijing station. And to hold a big seminar, this is the Guangzhou station. We displayed uh, several exhibitions. In many places, we spread Guiyang Station in Guizhou University. We displayed this is the Lanzhou Station. This is a seminar. At that time, uh, so many celebrities and literati and experts joined uh, and to appreciate this. Uh, this is Changsha Station. This is Qingdao Station. It's Nanning Station, Guangxi Province. It's a seminar and exhibitions. This is Fuzhou. In Fuzhou Normal University, this is Mako Station. In Mako University, have the virtual exhibitions. Also, this is uh, in London Fashion Week. This is the broadcast. From this, uh, we get uh, the so many results. For example, is a uh, It's cultural and artistic value, expand cultural influence and enhance the cultural self-confidence. Make more young people to know the fragrant clown the young. To make more young people to use the young generation to know the fragrant clown the young. Consumers at home and abroad in enhancing the pride and self-confidence of Chinese people's traditional culture and a better 
protecting the in and inheriting fragrant cloud yarn improves the user's experience of fragrant cloud yarn culture through the promotion forms such as a virtual simulation exhibition. The virtual circle on industrial integration across the agriculture industry and service industries. The tool will help to expand the consumer market of fragrant cloud yarn products and guide the regional economy to form growing mulberries and raising silkworms, silk reeling and weaving, fragrant cloud yarn dyeing and finishing industry. The, the results has been reported by more than 200 media such as CCTV, AFP, Provincial TV, Xinhua News Agency, Sina, and China Textile News create an original Chinese brand. The influence and social recognition of fragrant cloud yarn have been expanded and the market competitiveness of fragrant cloud yarn has been enhanced. The supplies of fragrant cloud yarn the original and uh, other region, many brands at home and abroad have increased the clothing design of Fragrant Cloud series design. According to the incomplete, incomplete statistics, there are now more than 200 such as so many abroad designers to focus on the Fragrant cloud design, for example, London, Japan, and other countries. For example, in Guangdong province, in Shunde, and the Guangxi province, it can it cannot meet the needs of the fragrant cloud. Yeah except uh, in these two places, uh, we expand uh, the in Zhangjiang and uh, Guangxi province, even in Zhejiang province. Because of the climate conditions, uh, it will have another, another types of the yarn. It is reported that for the company is a very small scale. Now, if you open the TikTok, you will find the brand of the Fragrant Cloud Yarn to sell the clothes. It is said that there are now more than 200 Fragrant Cloud Yarn design brands in our country. From the spreading, we already got so many design awards. For example, for some companies, they also get, got the price. They also have as a pro innovation price. For me, I was awarded the title of Innovation Hero in Guangzhou and other honors. Also, I, I am the ambassador of China Textile Intangible, Chai Cultural Heritage. So we want to spread the culture, the fragrant cloud yarn culture to spread the, of the country and to the world. Muchísimas gracias, profesora, por esta presentación. La verdad que estuvo muy interesante y en la sección de comentarios muchos están eh, muy sorprendidos y asombrados por el diseño, la elegancia de la ropa y de los zapatos. La verdad que están muy, muy eh, contentos. Así que les doy las muchísimas gracias y al público Thank en general.
por su asistencia y también por sus comentarios. Les recuerdo que mañana continuaremos nuevamente con nuestra eh, sesión, nuestro taller de cultura eh, agrícola más idioma chino y como siempre les recuerdo que van a recibir en su correo electrónico un recordatorio eh, una hora antes de, eh, de la asistencia para que puedan conectarse a través de ese link. Lo recuerdo nuevamente porque en muchos países de América Latina estamos cambiando hacia el horario de verano por lo tanto, hay algunos, eh, sobre todo por ejemplo Chile donde estábamos ubicados, eh, hay una diferencia de horario, de, de horario así que eh, para que estén muy, muy atentos. Muchísimas gracias a todos, muchísimas gracias a la profesora y muchísimas gracias a todos de la Universidad de, de, del Sur de Agricultura de China por eh, todas estas ponencias. Muchas gracias, buenas noches, buenos días en Beijing y nos vemos mañana. ¡Zaijian! See you, see you tomorrow.